Okay, so this is number seven on the three one to three four review on page 172. So the directions say find the derivative. I think you just need to find the derivative, just the first derivative, all right? So the first thing, it's, it's pretty hard to do a derivative when you have a radical symbol. You have to rewrite the, rewrite the expression. So square root of x is the same as x to the one half power. So this is x to the first. And you always put your power on top when you do a fractional exponent. The root, that's a square root. Uh, even though there's no number here, we're picturing a 2 right there. It means square root. So you put a 2 here. So the square root of x is the same as x to the 1 half power. Plus the 1, plus 1 over, and the same thing here, this would be x to the 1 half power. Now the other thing you want to do besides get rid of the radicals, before you do the derivative, is you, if there's a, you really don't want to do the quotient rule if you don't have to. But if I leave this as a quotient, 1 over x to the half, I'd have to do the quotient rule. It's a lot easier if I can move that expression to the numerator, like this. Move it to the numerator, which makes it x to the negative 1 half power. Now you're ready to do the derivative. So you got to do all that stuff first. Okay. Now when you do the derivative, do the derivative on both sides. Just like in algebra where you're taught, like if you subtract 3 from the right of an equation, you've got to subtract 3 from the left. Or if you multiply one side of the equation by 6, you've got to do the same thing on the other side. It's the same thing here. I have to do the derivative of both sides. The derivative of y is dy over dx. Okay, this part right here is your derivative. Whoops. That's your derivative symbol, d over dx. So dy over dx. Or you could write like y prime or something like that would be fine. But you've got to put something on the left side. On the right side, multiply by 1 half up front, just using the power rule, copy down your x, take 1 off your exponent. So 1 half minus 1 would be negative 1 half. The derivative of a constant is 0. Power rule here, multiply by negative 1 half up front, copy down the x, subtract 1 off your exponent. Negative 1 half minus 1 would be negative 1 and a half or negative 3 halves. That's one way that you can write down your derivative. Any questions about that? All right, now, there's other ways you could write the answer. I'm just going to show you a couple more ways you could write it. You could move this negative exponent term down to the denominator and change that to a positive 1 half. So you could write it like this, 1 over 2x to the half. That's just moving that to the denominator and making that positive. The 0 you could drop off. Plus, same thing here, you can move that to the denominator. Instead of plus a negative, we could use a subtraction here. And then 1 over 2x to the, move it to the bottom, it would be positive 3 x. That's another way you could write the answer. Is it okay if we write it the first way? Like yep. You don't yep. Five? You can. The thing is, though, if you get a, a multiple choice question on a test, then you might need to know. And I don't have any multiple choices on this next test. But the one after that, next couple problem tests after that, I start putting a few multiple choice on there. So then you might have to know how to simplify. The other thing you can do is x to the half is the same as the square root of x. And x to the 3 halves, the power's on the top, the root's on the bottom, just like roots are on the bottom of the tree, right? So this 2 in the bottom means square root. This 3 here means x cubed. So it would be the square root of x cubed. So really, any of those three are correct. Okay. But, so if you, can, if you can at least get here, you'll get full credit on this test. But I want you to get comfortable with simplifying and moving things around and, and um, rewriting in those second two forms also.